They used to walk, they used to swim They used to fly with a toothy grin Some ate plants and some ate meat Some walked around on just two feet Or the dinosaurs Hey everyone, it's Cheese Curd here to talk a little bit about what today's schedule, day five, is like. So again, we're starting here on the Kesem at Home website and we're going over to the all camp schedule tab. So we'll scroll past the Zoom and give this a moment to populate here. Today is August 19th. We're starting off the day with some morning announcements, which is what you should be watching now, our broadcast. Our first free select starts at 10.30 a.m. and that's our virtual tours. Then at 11.15, you have the option between going to Price is Right, or if you are a TLP, so this is for the Dino Nuggets cabin only, you'll be doing some cabin chat prep. Again, with the free selects, we encourage you to attend at least one, but you're welcome to join both for sure. At 2 p.m., we have our talent show. So if you're performing that, also make sure that you have everything prepared, all of the supplies you might need, the resources or music, and let us know if there's any additional support you need for talent show. At 4.30, we'll be having our cabin chat, and we'll end the night at 7 with a craft. Can't wait to see you all there. Hi, Kim Kessler, my Cornell. It's me, Maple. I wanted to let you all know that I miss you all so much, and I hope that you're having a great week at Kessler at home. I also want to give a special shout out to Bambi. Happy birthday, Bambi. I hope it was a great one. All right, all. CK love for now. Bye. Hi, my name is Beta, and I'm a yellow unit cabin counselor this summer. In case you couldn't tell, Alpha is my twin. So this year is my first year as a camp counselor, but I was a camper three years before this. Um, one fun fact about me is that I like to swim, and my favorite dinosaur is the T-Rex. I'm so excited to meet everyone this summer. See you! Hey everyone, it's Cheese Curd here. This is my second year at camp and I'm so excited to be a part of the admin this year. A fun fact about me is I have three cats. Unfortunately, they aren't with me to show you, but their names are Malone, Ozzy, and Lita. And if I could be any dinosaur, I would be the Brontosaurus because I think it's so cool that they're so tall and have long necks and I'm pretty short. So I think it would be really cool to be that tall. Can't wait to see you all at camp today. Hi everyone, my name is Tulip. A fun fact about me is that I'm very left-handed and my favorite dinosaur, I'm not really sure what it's called. I don't know a lot about dinosaurs, but I'd have to say one with the very long neck that only eats plants is an herbivore. Have a great day, Kesem at home. Hi friends, today's the final day of our garden tour and easily the most important plant of my garden. Um, I won't tell you the name yet, but see if you can guess it. The story behind it is that when I was in second grade, we did a project for Father's Day where we brought in a mug that we picked out for our dad, and then we filled it with a plant, and we brought it home to our dads for Father's Day, which as you guys probably know by now, is like the most fantastic gift for my dad since he has a huge green thumb. Um, do you have any guesses what the plant might be? It's a fern, of course. Look how massive it is. It actually started as literally just one tiny plant over in this area and it has spread all the way across this whole area of the backyard since I was in second grade and we're so impressed that it's survived for this long and this is the very inspiration for my camp name. Thanks for coming along to my garden tour and I hope you guys have had a blast at camp so far. Bye! Hey TNC, this is Soup here. Um, I just wanted to let you know that, well, we really miss you today, first of all, but you're such a great presence during cabin chat and you bring so much excitement and energy and just, you're so hilarious and 
I love your dog too and when you were nerding out about Lord of the Rings and Star Wars it was just so great like I've had such a great time honestly with you and Yellow Unit and I just wanted to let you know hi friends I'm gonna give a warm fuzzy to Bambi for today she was kind of like a mini counselor at our dance party she not only taught us how to put our dinosaur hats together but she also taught us how to do the cotton eye gel and had a wonderful hat to go with it so thank you for being so kind and so helpful to your fellow campers and counselors see you soon hi and this warm and fussy is for cb thanks for always being such a constant presence at camp we always love when you answer our questions and you always have such great answers so keep it up we love to hear from you Hey everyone, I just wanted to give a warm and fuzzy to Cheetah for always bringing such a high energy to every activity he's a part of and also always having cool Zoom names. Thanks, Cheetah. Tootsie, I want to nominate you for a warm fuzzy because during the dance party today, you were exceptional. Your use of filters was like perfectly timed to the music and so good and so fun. And it brought such a good energy. And yeah, shout out you. So I hope you guys were able to see that it kind of turned into a cloud in a bottle, which was the purpose of that experiment. So basically what I did is I took isopropyl rubbing alcohol and poured a little bit in the water bottle and then circled it so it coated all of the edges. And then when I squeezed the bottom of the water bottle, I built up a lot of pressure in the top half, which caused the alcohol to heat up and evaporate. And then when I release the pressure, the vapor condensed. Sorry, my dog just jumped up on the bed. It caused the vapor to condense, kind of like how when it's really hot out, when it's really hot in your car, the like there's like some droplets on windows. That's like the condensation because of the differences in temperature. But releasing the pressure caused the water to condense, and then that's why you saw the clouds form inside the water bottle. But yeah, this was a really cool science trick. Um, you can also try at home, just be careful with the isopropyl alcohol. I cannot express though how excited I am for custom. Name Weren't Already Chocolate. It might be peanut butter. Peanut butter cups is the best thing to ever happen. Peanut, I love you. In fact about me, chocolate, I love dark chocolate the most. Uh, more than milk chocolate, more than white chocolate. This is the best kind of chocolate. Well, it's so good. All right, we did it. Thanks for joining me on my Courageous Chocolate Adventure. We got some dark chocolate covered espresso beans and some unsweetened dark chocolate. We've never tried this before. I'll let you know how it goes. Um, I also got my other groceries. Just remember you need to eat your fruits and vegetables. Got to eat a healthy, balanced diet. All right, see you soon on the Zoom. Bye. Hi friends, Fern here. Today, during our Lunch with Counselors discussion, we talked about Chef Boyardee and the infamous commercial of the jar rolling off the shelf to follow the kid home. And when I asked about our opinions, I said I had never tried it and felt very left out. So I immediately ran to the store and got two different kinds for comparative reasons. We have the mini ravioli and the spaghetti and meatballs. And out of obligation, I will be trying them in lunch. I trying them for lunch. I went out in the rain to buy these. It, I hope it was a well worth it four dollars or three dollars and 82 cents um so i think i'll go with the ravioli first um i'm not sure if i'm gonna like these for context i'm not a huge red sauce fan but i felt like i missed out um out of like, like some childhood experiences but if i don't like it my roommate said that she will finish the rest of it so oop, i just spilled here here we have, I have my pot here. 
so it's kind of stuck in there. They're so cute and little. All right, time to heat it up. I served myself some in this tiny little bowl, just in case I don't like it, because we do not condone food waste at Kesem. Um, Eve's ability of preparing was a solid 10 out of 10. Um, it heated up in like two minutes on the stove, which is, I'm very impressed. Um, I also love how tiny the ravioli are, hand for reference. Um, okay, I'm going in. Okay. Okay. Um, so it's a little mushier than I expected, I will say. I like my pasta al dente, you know, a little bite to it. This is kind of just straight up mush. The sauce is very liquidy, but the flavor isn't horrible. Um, would I rather cook my own pasta? Definitely. But was this really easy to make for lunch today? Yes. Um, let me try one more. I do see the appeal. I do. I'm going to give this a solid 5 out of 10. Because I would definitely rather cook myself. But it was really easy. And even though it's kind of mushy... It only took like two minutes to make and that feels worthwhile. Um, stay tuned for my spaghetti and meatball review, which I hope might be a little bit better than this one. Thanks for watching and thank you to all of our Lunch with Counselors participants today for inspiring this broadcast segment. Bye! Hey everyone, it's Waffles back at it again, here for another Waffles Waffle Review. Today, we have another different type of waffle. This is a chocolate chip waffle from Eggo. And today, I decided to spice it up a little bit. Instead of adding the usual butter, I added some banana slices, and then just drizzled a little bit of maple syrup on top. And so, here we go. We're gonna give it a shot. I don't know how this is going to taste. I've never tried a chocolate waffle with a banana combination before, but hopefully it'll be good and the maple syrup will just top it off. Mmm. First bite, first impression. I really like it. Now, I've had um, crepes with banana and chocolate before. That was really good. Waffle with chocolate chips and banana, even better, even better. Now, <clears throat> one of the things that happened today while I was making my waffle, because I usually put it in the toaster, was it started folding over itself. And so when the waffle came out of the toaster, it was all mushy and deformed and it was a little folded over. But, I think I kind of like it actually. That way it's like you can fit more in one mouth and it kind of holds the maple syrup in the, in the little corner, in the cradle that it has. And so it adds a little more flavor with the bananas and the chocolate chip and the maple syrup. I really like it. I'm sorry, I'm just gonna keep eating, but before I leave it to just eating the entire waffle. I'm gonna have to give this a solid nine out of 10. It's even better than just the waffle, um, even just better than just the blueberry waffle yesterday. And maybe it's the banana, maybe it's just the chocolate chip, I don't know. 
but I really like this combination. So for all of you out there who are interested in trying out a new waffle, some combination spicing up your breakfast or your lunch or your dinner or a midnight snack, which I always love. Chocolate waffle from Eggo with banana and maple syrup. It's so good. All right, I'm gonna keep eating. I might finish the whole box after this, but see y'all in the next waffles review. Um, and I'll catch you all in some of the camp scheduling we have. See ya.